Hi, this is Bryce with Phytech Fuel Injection, and today we're going to discuss what the cam selection feature does in Phytech EFI systems. The cam selection is broken into four cam selections. Cam 1 would be a mild cam. Cam 4 would be a wild cam. Now the easy way to break these down is in manifold vacuum. So the manifold vacuum is based upon your engine running at an idle and how much engine vacuum it produces. So cam 1 being a mild cam would be something with an engine that would run somewhere between 15 inches of vacuum or more. Cam 2 would be a mild cam, such as a RV cam, something a little bit more than stock. These cams will produce somewhere between 10 to 15 inches of vacuum. Cam 3 would be somewhere in a street strip style cam. These cams would produce somewhere between 8 inches of vacuum and 10 inches of vacuum. And then the last one would be our wild cam. This would be something that's borderline a race cam. These ones would be engines that ran somewhere between six inches of vacuum to eight inches of vacuum. And with a little bit of tweaking, we could even get cams to work that produce as little as four inches of vacuum with the system. But be aware, the bigger the camshaft, the more tuning that may be required. So now let's discuss what the cam selection does. By using the cam selection, along with the cubic inch displacement, the ECU is able to build a VE map. VE stands for volumetric efficiency. It's the efficiency of the engine through an RPM and load range, load being vacuum. So with a mild cam, you're going to use a majority of the fuel to produce the best power at a lower RPM range in comparison to a more wild cam that's really not going to start fueling until a higher RPM. Now this map doesn't need to be perfect and when you're selecting one through four the real idea is to get the computer somewhere in the ballpark where the self-learning technology can take over and start tuning the system for your engine. So I hope that takes the mystery away from the cam selection mode. Don't be afraid to adjust your cam selection higher or lower and see what the engine likes. One of the easy ways to see if you need to increase the cam selection is at a higher RPM you may see the AFR learn percentage in the computer is adding a lot of fuel. If you move up one cam selection it's going to shift the VE table up a little bit higher and will start to even out your fuel learning percentages. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Tech Tuesday. If you have any questions on the topic we covered today, or if you have any suggestions for future videos, please comment them down below.